show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. All stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah. Wow, hooray! The secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. Together. <laughs> <laughs> Bags into the bucket. I win the game, right? Right. Only one more to go. Okay. Here we go. One more. One more. Hurry and throw at Mia. I'm next. <sighs> now I have to start all over again. One more. One more. Uh. Rats. I almost did it. My turn. <clears throat> Ah, uh, Philly. Uh, Emma? Maybe if you slow down, you won't keep missing. I like to take careful aim. Oh! <gasps> huh? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Hey, guys! It's mail carrier Ethan! He's making a delivery! Being a mail carrier looks like so much fun. Yeah, everybody's so happy when they get a package or letter. I'd love to be a mail carrier. Let's go on a mail carrier adventure. Let's go. Okay. Woohoo! Zigga digga do. Uh. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You can be Has really sprung. There's our mail truck. Time to make some deliveries. This says we have four deliveries to make today. Ooh, I can't wait to get started. But where's Emma? <laughs> Come on, guys, I'm ready to roll. Here comes a mail truck, Bernard. This is the place. Our first delivery. Hi, y'all. I'm so glad you're here. I told Bernard we can't go to the Spring Fling Winga thing until my package arrives. Spring Fling Winga, what, what? Spring Fling Winga ding. There's games and egg decorating, and everyone is invited. That sounds Emma amazing. Y'all should come. It's gonna start real soon. All right. Yes, yeah. We better hurry and get these packages delivered so we can go. We do get some spring showers now and then. That's why I ordered an umbrella to take along this year. Um, these look like the flowers in your meadow. This must be your package. Huh. There you go. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. See you at the Spring Fling Wing-a-Ding. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And thank you. Now, let's see our new umbrella. Oh, my. This isn't what I ordered. Oh. Package for Mr. Frog and Joy. See you at the Spring Fling Wing-a-Ding. Bye-bye. But, Emma... Shouldn't we slow down and make sure that the package is... No time! The fling is gonna start real soon. Close the doors. Bye. Thank you. Daddy, that's not 
what we ordered? what we ordered. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes! Oh, this is Emma amazing. Um, Emma? Are you sure we delivered all of our packages? Hmm. Kobe's right. We still have one more package to deliver. But we're here now. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the fun. We can deliver that package later. <laughs> Sorry your hats weren't delivered. I didn't get mine either. An umbrella instead of a hat? Oh, dear. And instead of an umbrella, I got this hat. I'm afraid you're not the only one who had problems with the delivery today. <clears throat> hey, folks. I know it's about time for our annual egg decorating event, but... Well, I'm afraid the eggs were never delivered. Oh, my. Instead, I got these flower crowns. Oh, Phooey. I think I delivered the wrong things to everyone. I should have slowed down and been more careful. Emma, the eggs must be in this last package. Of course, the one we didn't deliver. I was in such a hurry to get here that I made a bunch of mistakes. But now I'm going to make things right. Here are your eggs, Mr. Beaver. And these belong to you. <laughs> and this is yours. And this is for you. Sorry I gave you all the wrong packages. From now on, I'm going to try to be more patient and careful. Well, thank you for apologizing. And now that we have the eggs, let's start decorating. Being patient and taking it slow isn't always easy to do. Sometimes it's better to walk than to run. You'll make less mistakes and you'll still have fun. It's best to slow down, so from now on I'll be patient and take my time. If you hurry, you just might find you've made a mistake. So slow down, take your time. Being patient and taking it slow. Folks, now that the eggs are all decorated, it's time for the sensational spring fling wing a ding spoon and egg race. Yay! Yay! All right. Hey! On your mark, get set. Wait, aren't you going to do the egg race, Emma? Oh no, she was so busy helping everyone else, she didn't have time to decorate one for herself. It's okay. I can wait until next time, now that I know how to slow down and be patient. Or you could just use this extra one that I made. Oh, thank you, Andy. It's beautiful. All right. Ready, set, go! Yeah! <laughs> Fun? Yes, it was an amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to get one more bean bag in the bucket, and I win. Then we can start a new game, and we can all play. I can hurry. No, don't. It's better to slow down and do it right. But Emma, 
Don't you want to play? Sure, but I can be patient. It's not easy, but I can do it. Okay, here I go. Nice and slow. Yes! Yay! Yay! Go, you Eddie! Did it, Eddie! Nice and slow. <laughs> but Lucky is the expert at doing things nice and slow. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's it. No, a tiny bit to the left. Perfect. Okay, now that we're all in place, let's have fun! <sighs> huh? Ugh. Now, Eddie, kick it to Eddie. <sighs> now, you kick it to Mia. <laughs> and I'll kick it to the moon. Oops. <laughs> I got it! Kick it to me! No, that's not right. Mia's supposed to kick the ball to me. Then I kick it to Kobe. And we're supposed to all stay in a circle. <gasps> what is that? There's a tractor coming. It's Farmer Jed. I know. He must be going to the farmer's market today. Scientific fact. A farmer can grow all kinds of yummy vegetables on a farm. Farming is a lot of hard work. Yeah, but you can have fun on a farm, too. One time, I went on a hay ride. You rode hay? Well, kind of. You sit in a wagon full of hay, and a tractor pulls you around. Cool! I'd love to go on a hayride. Me too! Me too! Yeah! Then let's do it! I'll drive the tractor! Yeehaw! A farm adventure! Woohoo! Yeehaw! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. There's Louie the horse. <coughs> That's Marge the cow. She's just saying hello. Let's say hello back, cow style. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what animal is that, Farmer Eddie? That's no animal. That's thunder. And thunder? means rain. Not today it doesn't. Today we're going on a hayride. Let's go! Uh-oh. I felt a drop. No! It can't rain! Ugh! I think it is. You guys better get into the barn. I'll take the tractor behind the barn where it's dry. To the barn! Come on! Hurry! Wait! Maybe it won't rain that hard. Maybe it's just... Whoa! Wow! Look at it! It's really raining! Glad we're not out there. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Hen. We'll play on the other side of the barn. This is cool. It's not cool. It's just stuck in a barn with nothing to do. Our plan was to go on a hayride. Guess we have to change our plan. 
but the hayride was going to be so fun. What's fun in a barn? Cool! This hat is just like the one you put on the snowman last winter. We should build another snowman. Snowman? There's no snow for a snowman, Kobe. There may be no snow, but there's hay for a hayman. Awesome! Great idea, Kobe. Yeah, great idea. A hayman? It might be cool if he has some boots. Yes! He's a cowboy hayman. Yeah! Awesome! He does look pretty good. Yeah! Yay! Do you know how to say hello to a hayman? Hayman! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eddie. That was fun. Yeah, but... It's not what we planned. And that rain is never gonna stop. <sighs> Neither am I! Look out! <laughs> that was awesome! I wanna try it. Sure, Mia. <laughs> well done. Here you go. Okay. Kick 
kick your soccer ball around some more. Okay, but we don't have to stand in a circle. Let's try doing it a different way. I think we still need a ball, though. Where is it? Aw, Lucky has it. I'll get it. That's okay. Don't wake him. We'll just have to change our plans. So what do you want to do? Hmm, let's see. Maybe... Maybe what? Maybe tag! <laughs> You're it! Can't catch me! Here I come! Here I come. Yay! Hey, everybody! Welcome to the first ever Backyard Egg Extravaganza! Team 1, Eddie and Mia! Yes! Team 2, Tessa and Kobe! Okay, you know the rules. Partners pass the egg to each other, and the first team to get its egg over the finish line without breaking it wins! Let's go, Sophie! This egg wants to get rolling! Eggs ready. Eggs set. Eggs go! Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie! Oh, yeah! Yippee! Yeah! <laughs> Eddie slides into the lead. Tessa and Kobe are gaining on them. Come on, toss it! Toss it! Go, Eddie! Tessa's ahead by nose. This is so exciting! Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie! You can do it! Come on! What good's a race without a winner? Rematch! But with race cars! <laughs> race cars! Yes! We can race on a big track! I'm in! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> I can't wait to race! Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we bought an adventure! You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we bought an adventure. Wait up! Welcome all to the really rather royal road race! Ripping, rousing, absolutely riveting! Dad! Sorry, son. Continue. The race will begin here and finish there at Pigalot Palace where the victory celebration will be held in a royally dignified manner. No light cheering will be permitted. Like this. Ra, ra, ra. There's the starting flag! Woohoo! Dad! You said I could start the race! Steady Eddie gets a head start and leaves him in the dust! Go! The kid's a born winner! You said it! Wait, who said it? Eyes on the road, Ace! You do want to win this thing, right? I love winning! And you do anything to win? Anything. <gasps> Are you sure, Ace? A <gasps> zillion percent! Okay, leave it to me! Think of me as your good luck job. Take this dirt road here. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck in the mud! <laughs> Eddie rounds the curve like a pro! No one 
one can catch up to him. drive on banana peels. But that's not very fair. No, but now you're way out in front. I guess I am. I stopped all the other racers, too. All of them? Yep. But isn't that really unfair? Who cares about fair? You're going to win. But that's... And winning is the best, right? Well, I do love winning. It's great. Better than great. But what about my friends? Hey, you said that you'd do anything, right? Winning is the best! But cheating is the worst. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? The right thing. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Sophie! Look out! Like a winner, I could be your good luck charm. Oh. I'll help you, Kobe. Mm. Here, Mia. Got it. Thanks. There you go, Tessa. Thanks. King Pedalot pronouns you, Sophie, the winner of the really rather royal road race. Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Aw, thank you. But I couldn't have won without Eddie's help. He helped me, too. And me! That makes four of us. And because Eddie helped all of us, I think he's the real winner. Here you go, Eddie. Hooray! Yay! Congratulations, Eddie! Bravo! It's like a Mia. That's me! This is the story of the tortoise in the hare, which is like a big bunny rabbit, but different. The role of the tortoise will be played by a really slow zebra because we don't have a tortoise. <sighs> so one day, the really slow zebra and the hairy bunny rabbit had a race. The bunny was so sure she was going to win that she stopped to play in the sandbox. But the zebra just kept moving along, slow and steady. So... You know, Bunny, if you get all sandy, it might slow you down. No, you're supposed to pass her, not help her. Gee, thanks, really slow zebra. Boing, boing, boing. <sighs> boing, boing, boing. But then the bunny saw some swings. She was so far ahead of the really slow zebra, she decided to stop and play. So the slow and steady zebra... Need a push? Thanks! No! 
You know, Bunny, we're having so much fun. Why don't we cross the finish line together, too? Great idea. No, it's not supposed to happen that way. The really slow zebra is supposed to win. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Look, it's a tie! Whee! <laughs> so, the zebra and the bunny became best friends. And that's definitely not the story of the tortoise and the hare. You should tell us that one sometime. <sighs> V and boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I won this medal for first place in a spelling contest. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I got this trophy for being the strongest kid in my class. No, wait. Oh, right. Sorry. This one was a trophy for doing the best handstand. I always get those two awards mixed up. I wish I had a trophy. Oh, don't worry, Mia. Maybe when you get a little bigger, you'll win an award for... For... for something. Thank you. Thank you all for this award. My trophy? Oh, right. Oh, rats. I wish I could win something. Well, you're just in time for the county fair down on the farm. Eddie, Kobe, are you ready? It's time for another adventure. I'll go get the wagon. Hit it, Ziggy. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Sing this song Sing this song We sing this song, sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure A real county fair has so much cool stuff to see and do. And there's lots of ways to win ribbons and trophies. I'm going to teach these chickens to sing and enter the singing chicken contest. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. <laughs> I'm going to make the best pie ever and win the pie making award. What about you, Kobe? Hmm. I think I might use that old wagon wheel and... Invent an automatic hoof polishing machine. <laughs> Mia, have you decided what you want to do for the county fair? Are you going to make something? Well, I... I'll just... <gasps> Oops. Find something to do with this hook. Hmm. Maybe Tessa will know how to fix this birdhouse. I think she won an award for making birdhouses. No! I can do it all by myself. Here I go, fixing the birdhouse. Making it the biggest, bestest, winningest, uh, award winner. Okay. Well, that just leaves me. <laughs> Good thinking, Mr. Horse. I'll be the judge. I don't need anyone's help. I'm just as good at fixing stuff as they are. Whoa! Well, hey there, Missy. My name's Andy. Hello. My name's Mia. Welcome to my workshop, Mia. Have a seat. That's beautiful. Thank you, Andy. 
Well, looky there. You're a woodworker, too. Looks like quite a project. It used to be a birdhouse, but I don't know how to fix it or make a new one. Birdhouse? Hmm. Mind if I give it a try? <laughs> solve your birdhouse problem? I, uh... I know. It's still a little rough around the edges. No. I mean, it's... Wow! Just a little gift from one carpenter to another. Mmm. Good pie, Tessa. Come on! Sing with me! La, 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 la! <laughs> Mia, that is awesome! Double awesome! I, uh, yeah, well, I guess it is. I had no idea you could do this, Mia. Uh, neither did I. Whoa, Mia! It's like a bird palace. It's still a little rough around the edges. Mia, since you're so good at making stuff, Maybe you can make me a new go-kart. Oh, well, I... Ooh, you can make us all go-karts! Yeah! yeah. <sighs> and now they all want me to make them new go-karts. I just wanted to show them that I was good at something. Sounds like you didn't happen to mention that you didn't make the birdhouse. I was going to tell them, but they said it was amazing. And I won an award so badly. I think I understand. Reminds me of a little song my daddy sang to me when I still had my baby teeth. Don't compare yourself to others. Just compare yourself to you. Finding what you're good at's what you got to do. So first you stop by trying, and then when you are through, don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Don't go fretting if someone else knows just what to do. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Putting in together is what I've got to do. Won't be spend another, and then when I am through, don't compare myself to others. Just compare yourself to you. Don't compare yourself to others. Just compare yourself to you. Do 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 do. So you made this birdhouse? Uh huh. Sure did. And you made that birdhouse too? Uh uh. Sure didn't. Andy made that one. Who's Andy? Andy's a beaver who lives near the farm, and he makes stuff out of wood, like the fancy birdhouse. But you said that you made No, you said I made it. And I kind of liked it when you thought I did, even though I should have told the truth. But now I kind of like my birdhouse better because I made it myself. I kind of like it too. Looks like the real birdhouse experts like your house the best. That's because it is the best. Really? As the official county fair judge, I hereby award Mia this first place ribbon for the best broken birdhouse fixing. Thank you. Thank you all for this award. Yay, Mia! Um, you guys, I have some awards. More awards? What'd you win them for? Oh, I didn't win them. I made them for you guys. 
And the winner of the Yeti Award is... Eddie! For being the best Eddie I know. Wow! Thank you, Mia. And this one's for you, Sophie. Because you're so... So... Well, you're just the Sophiest. Aw, thanks, Mia. And this is the Kobe Award. For you, Kobe. Uh, it's just a block of wood. I left it plain because I know you'll invent it into something amazing. This is the Special Tessa Award for Best Ice Skater. But I don't know how to ice skate. Yeah, but if you did ice skate, you'd be good enough to win this award. Wow, Mia, thank you so much. And one more award. This award is for all of us for being the best friend ever. But I think I'll keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> She sent me a package in the mail. So maybe we'll come today. Oh, I hope it comes today. What's in it, Mia? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a horse. Horses are kind of big to be delivered by mail, Mia. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a pony. <gasps> I think it's the mail truck. It's not the mail truck? No. <sighs> Is that the mail truck? Nope. It's the recycling truck. Oh, I don't think the mail truck is ever going to get here. I know how you feel. One time I ordered a book about the rainforest, it felt like it took forever to get it. Yeah. I wish time would hurry up. We should go on an adventure. Maybe your package will be here when we get back. An adventure? Yeah, a mail carrier adventure in fairy tale land. I bet they deliver a lot of great stuff there. Yes! Let's do it, Kobe. But first, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Can't go to fairy tale land without my tiara. <laughs> cool. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be what we have to deliver. <gasps> wow. Let's see. This delivery is for Humpty Dumpty to help him get down from walls. Oh, and these bowls are for the three bears for their porridge. <sighs> wow. Someone must really be looking forward to getting that. It's for Fairy Godmother, Kobe. <gasps> It even has a wand. Wow! Here's a map for our deliveries, Mia. We'll start here at the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. Um, do we have to deliver there first? It's the closest place. And I bet the Fairy Godmother really wants her new outfit. Yeah, but don't you think Humpty really wants his ladder? I mean, he's stuck on a wall. He could have a great fall. You might be right, Mia. Okay, let's deliver there first. Great. I'll ride back here and make sure nothing gets broken. Okay. Oh, I wish we never had to deliver you. I wish I could just look at you forever. <sighs> We're here! 
Mia, how lovely to see you. Aw, thanks for delivering your new ladder. But how did you get up there if you didn't have a ladder? Well, I was picking apples with my friend the giant. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Ah! Oh. Hi, giant! Hello! That's the giant up there. <clears throat> he accidentally grabbed my ladder a little too tightly. Oopsie! But can't he just pick you up and lift you down? Scientific fact, eggs crack when they're squeezed too tightly. <sighs> this will help you get down. <gasps> Thank you! You're, You're welcome. welcome. Goodbye! Bye. See you soon, I hope. Next stop, Fairy Godmother's Cottage, just around the corner. No, not yet. I just want to keep you here with me a little bit longer. Wait! Let's deliver to the Three Bears next instead. But the cottage is closer, Mia. And the fairy godmother probably wishes we would hurry. Just like you wished the mail truck would hurry with your package. Yeah, but it's almost lunchtime. And the bears are getting new bowls for their porridge. And Papa Bear gets very grumpy when he has to wait for his lunch. And no one likes a grumpy bear. Maybe you're right. Okay, let's deliver to the bear family next. Yay! <laughs> They're special temperature controlled bowls. Your porridge will never be too hot or too cold again. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you order four bowls? There are only three of you. Hello, bears? Yeah, it's me, Goldilocks. Got any porridge? That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mia, now it's on to the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. It's getting kind of late, Colby. Maybe we should deliver the Fairy Godmother's outfit tomorrow. I know you love this Fairy Godmother's outfit, but she is going to love it too. Think of how you feel, waiting for your package from your aunt, and how excited you're gonna be when it finally arrives. It will be amazing. I bet that's how Fairy Godmother feels too. Oh. I never thought of it like that. She's probably feeling the same as me right now. When you're deciding what to do, try to think if that was you, would it feel good or feel bad? Make you happy or feel sad? That's empathy. Remember how it feels. She feels too. I bet for her, it's hard to wait. Just like me, and that's not great. We should hurry to her place. Put a smile upon her face. That's empathy. Remember how it feels to you. Empathy. And that might be how she feels too. Thank you, thank you! <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. That makes my heart sparkle. I thought it would never get here. It would have been here sooner, but I was having a hard time letting it go. That's okay. I know how you must have felt. Of course, because you have empathy. Well, I also have a wand. 
Shall I test it out? Oh, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please! Ooh! Yay! Shiga digga doo! Spin, spin, spin! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Yeah! Hi, guys, we're back! Hello! Mia! Mail carrier Ethan was just here! He delivered your package! Hooray! Cool! Uh, thank you! Bye-bye! Mia, hurry and open it! Let's see! Yeah! Oh, what is it? <gasps> Homemade chocolate chip cookies! Ooh! Ooh. a dig a do! And there's enough to share! Cool! <laughs> Yummy! But first... I always feel good when someone says thank you. So, I'm going to make my aunt a thank you card. Hey, let's all make cards while we're eating the cookies. Yes. Yeah! Great idea, Eddie. Woohoo! Look at me! I'm in first place. Oh, no. And your ship landed on my rowboat, Mia. Sorry, Colby, but Tessa bumped into it. Sorry, Mia, but a speedboat needs lots of room so it can go really fast. Maybe we should find a ship that we can all play with together. Great idea, Sophie. We can play with... My rowboat! My speedboat! Those are too small. We should play with my big sailing ship. Your sailing ship is big, Mia. But I was thinking we could play on a really big ship. On a sailing ship adventure. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Have a fun trip. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> better than sailing a big ship on the open sea. Whee! And since Eddie isn't here, I'll be the captain today. <laughs> Actually, I think Eddie wanted me to be captain today. Did Eddie really say that, Mia? Well, not exactly. But he always lets me be captain sometimes. Mia! Uh, 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 this way! Uh, this way! Not that way! This way! I'm the captain! <sighs> Can I help? Yeah. No, I've got this! Yeah. Yes! Land ho! Uh oh! I better go steer the ship away from that island! Guys, stop! Uh, I'm Captain Mia. No, I am. Uh, someone better steer now, or we're gonna run into that island. I know how to do it. Let me steer. <gasps> I'm Captain. Uh, no, uh, I am. Guys, wait. should do? Mm, uh... 
Abandoned ship! <sighs> water! Water! I need water! <coughs> I'm so thirsty! We just got here, Mia! Oh, yeah! <laughs> um, what do we do now? We need to get our ship back onto the ocean. But how? And where did Tessa go? I'm up here! I know how to get us off this island and back to sea! I just need to raise the sail so the wind can push it! Ugh. Looks like you need help, Tessa! No thanks! Captain Tessa can do it by her! I did need a little help. We have to find a way to get our ship back in the water. Yeah, I do not want to be here when it starts to get dark. Me neither. A pretend fire won't give us very much light. At least we have all these delicious marshmallows to eat. Those aren't marshmallows, Mia. They're coconuts. They're pretend marshmallows. I'm going to roast my pretend marshmallow over our pretend fire. Okay. I just wish I was pretend hungry. <sighs> <gasps> what was that? Huh? Whoa. Uh -huh. Scientific fact. Things that roll are easier to move. Okay, but what are you going to do with those logs? I'm going to put the logs under our ship and roll it back out to sea. And then Captain Kobe will sail us back home. So, how are you going to get the logs under the ship, Captain Kobe? Oh, I didn't think about that. <sighs> May I have a pretend marshmallow, please? I can do this! Do you want some help, Mia? Uh, nope! I got this! As captain, I command you to move back into the water! Uh. I guess I'm just not strong enough to move it. And I'm not strong enough to get the logs underneath it, so it can roll. And I wasn't strong enough to keep the sail up so the wind could push it out to sea. None of us can make the ship move by ourselves, but maybe we can make the ship move together. Okay. How? Well, if we all work together, we can try to push the ship onto Kobe's logs. Then we could all raise the sail, and the wind might be strong enough to help roll the ship back out to sea. Let's do it! Yes! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. Three can work together. Four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yeah, it's just more fun! One, two, three, four! One friend can be helpful, two can help much more. It's better when there's three, and even better when there's four. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yay, it works! Way to go, team! We did it together! Call that a win win wind. <laughs> <laughs> With special help from my new little buddy. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Mr. Elephant. Yeah. Now let's head home. Wee! 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 <laughs> <laughs> and Sophie, you be the captain. Aye, aye, to that. Okay. 
<laughs> it's an honor to be in charge of the best crew ever. Because we all work really well together as a team. Oh, yay! yay! All hands on deck. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah! missed a really fun adventure. We landed on a desert island! And an elephant even gave us a push home. Sounds cool. Yeah, we've been having fun too. We're making a whole city out of sand. Awesome! Yeah, awesome! Great job! Thanks. Want to help? Sure. I'll be the mayor leader person of the city. Oh, I mean, we can all work together to make Sand City the greatest city ever! Yay! Whee! Awesome! Let's do it! <laughs> oh! Littleville, what a pretty town! I think I'll go for a visit. Welcome to your new neighborhood, Lucky. You're gonna love Littleville. It's the best place to live. <sighs> or take a nap. Good day, Sophie. Good day to you, Mia. Taking Mr. Papa for a stroll, I see. Yes, and he's been very well behaved. Hello, ladies of Littleville. What are you doing on this fine day, Eddie? I was just about to make a mud pie. Did someone say pie? Mmm, I love pie. See, Lucky, Littleville is the nicest, friendliest little town in the entire world. Beep, beep. I'm just coming home after a hard day at work. Hessa, follow the directions. The road goes around Littleville, not through it. No problem. I'm driving Tessa style. <laughs> Look out! <Whoa> <laughs> <gasps> to jump over and crawl through. Yes, a jungle obstacle course. We'll have a race. And I'll win. Let's go! We'll fix Littleville later. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. Special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Guys. Welcome to the official jungle obstacle course. You've all chosen your teammates. Hmm? 
Yay! We've got our team. All right. <laughs> oh, teammate. Great idea. Got any dinosaurs? Let me check. No. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm Emmett, and I'm winning today. Whoa. Hey, Emmett. I'm Eddie, and I'm ready to win. Want to be my teammate? Deal. Yes. Um, <clears throat> attention racers. Oh yeah. All eyes here. Listen carefully. Everyone has to follow the arrows. Give me five. All right. Follow the arrows. We're so gonna win this. Oh yeah. Follow the. Hey Eddie. Arrows. That's not fair. We got a head start. Let the official jungle obstacle course race begin. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, okay. Which way? Which way? That way. No, I say this way. Here we go. Gonna win this. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 <gasps> Emmett, look out! Whoa! <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, this way. This is fun. They're getting ahead of us. Follow me this time. Let's go that way. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Emmett. Go, go, go. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? Everybody, go this way! I don't get it. We're faster and stronger. What are we doing wrong? Okay, this time, follow me. No, follow me. I said follow me. <sighs> this is fun. <laughs> Come on, guys, this way. Here's a red arrow. They're going to win. We need a shortcut. That way, through the log. Eddie, I'm stuck. <laughs> Get me out of here. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> Put more elephant into it. Did we win? Win? No, no, no. That's the finish line over there. And this is the starting line. You mean we're right back where we started? Precisely. Maybe next time you'll follow the arrows, hmm? Huh? Come on, Emmett. Let's start over and try again. And this time, follow the arrows.
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> you know, Emmett, we made an awesome team. Even if we didn't win. Yeah, if we'd followed the arrows the first time, we would have won for sure. True, true, so very true. And for that reason, I present you both an award for most improved team. Congratulations. Everyone, just follow my directions. Eddie, you put your box over there. Mia, that box goes on top of Kobe's. Tessa, now put your box on top. Just a little that way. That's perfect. Our little bill house looks even better than before. Hey. I bet it'll look even better if we knock it down one more time and build it all over again. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who turned out the light? <laughs> hey, guys! That's not how... What are you? What's the... <laughs> you can't tag me, octopus. I'll tag you both with my octopus arms, my fine little fishies. Come swim past me, if you can. Gotcha. My turn. I want to be the octopus. I tagged you both, so I get to choose. And I choose me. Octopus tag, yay! Can't catch this fish, Octopus. <laughs> Come on, Kobe, Octopus tag! Can't! I'm trying to fix the music. Don't fix it! Make it louder! <laughs> Ran the octopus. Gotcha. No one outruns the octopus. Now swim along, little fishies. One, two. When do three, I get to be the four. octopus? In a minute. One, two. I bet it would be more fun if we all played against an four, octopus. Five, hey, why don't we play six, octopus tag with the real seven, octopus? Three, yeah, that would be awesome. Ten. Fixed it. Just in time. We're going on an adventure to find a real octopus to play tag with. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this fix this thing again. You guys go without me. You sure, Kobe? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, well, and everyone invited! <laughs> Ahoy! Any sign of a friendly octopus? On a big blinking sign. He's pointing that way. Oh, oh, can I see? In a minute. Is it a minute yet? Another sign. Ooh! Now the octopus. 
octopus is playing with the ball. Tessa, it's been like a million minutes. When can I see? In a minute. Sophie, Tessa's totally hogging the telescope. The octopus looks super fun. Can we see? In a minute. Oh, rats. I'll never get a turn. It's another octopus sign. A really big one. And he's waving. And he's pointing. At an island. And it's got the coolest looking playground ever. Can, Can we see? In a minute. Double rats. Gym. Cool! Oh boy, a seesaw! Hooray! Beach ball! Or some mateys! Visitors! Excellent! Hello! Wow! Hi, oh, hello! Hi. Welcome to Octo Fun Island! <gasps> Shall we have Octo Fun? Yes! Let's! How about octopus tag? I'll be. Great! Yes! Octopus tag! I'll be the octopus! One, two, three, go! <laughs> I win! I win! <laughs> Can I be the octopus now? In a minute! First, one, two, three, go! <gasps> I win again! I win again! I think it's time for a new game. <laughs> hey! hey! I win! But we're not playing tag anymore. Oops! Right! So sorry. When's our turn? In a minute. Do, 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 do. Yeah. In a minute. Where have I heard that before? Here it comes. <laughs> I got it. It's mine. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon. Do, 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 do. Hey, can we finish our game? In a minute. Always in a minute. In a minute. In a... Oh. That does sound kind of familiar. Uh-huh. Like me, playing octopus tag. Uh-huh. And when I wouldn't share the telescope. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm going to make it up to you. You invite new friends to visit and tell them, hey, let's play. So you show them all your really cool stuff, but then take it away and say. In a minute, you can play with my stuff in a minute. But that minute's never through, and it's only fun for you. being, what's the word? Shellfish? No! Selfish! Yes, right. Selfish! Terribly sorry. I should work on that. In a minute. <laughs> we oh, yeah, oh. We'll try to help him, Tessa. Well, maybe one day he'll learn to share. Just like I did. Hey, who wants the telescope? I do. I'm 
want the telescope. I want to go next. Hey, Kobe. So, did you get the band working? No, not yet. Greetings, excellent Earthlings. Hello, strange alien person creature with two heads. We were drawn to your planet by your beautiful music. You like this weird music? It is our favorite song from home. We like to sing it together, shall we? Bleep, bloop, bleepa, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop. Bleep, 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 bleep. Thank you, thank you very much. <sighs> Did you not enjoy our performance? Magical maker of beautiful music. Sorry, yeah, it was great. It's just, I've been trying to fix this, but I need one more piece of wire. Since you have shared your music with us, we will share part of us with you. Please take wire connecting our brains. Gosh, thanks. to share. But it's still too hot. We have to wait until it cools down a little. It's so hard to wait. We could jump rope some more. Or we could play hide and seek instead. Yeah. I'm a bear. Oh. Run and hide. Oh, oh no. A bear. One, hide, hide. two, three, four. Mm, that smells so good. Mm. Cinnamon? Ten. <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! Roar! Mm. Oatmeal and cinnamon. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> mm. And raisins. Shh. Gotcha! Ah! <laughs> and vanilla. What else? It's gone! Oh no! I ate it all! Tessa! I see you! Got me. <laughs> Everyone is gonna be so mad at me. What am I gonna do? <sighs> I have to tell them. Found you! I found everyone! Now it's time to eat the... <gasps> hey! Where's the cookie? Sophie, our cookie! Someone ate it! would do that? Um... I bet Lucky did it. No! He would never... Don't worry, everyone. Tessa and I will make another one. Come on, Tessa. <laughs> now we have to wait again. An adventure would make it easier. Yes! A forest adventure! With squirrels and stuff! Let's go! Yay! Oh. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. Show 
world in. Me and my friends are collecting acorns for the winter. Hey, guys, why don't we help them? Okay. Keep those acorns coming, team. When the meter reaches the top there, it means we've stashed enough acorns to last the winter. <sighs> and not a minute too soon. Winter's on its way. We'd like to help if we can. Sure. Go grab some acorns. But we don't have big cheeks to carry them in. See? Ah, I see your point. Uh, use these baskets instead. Great. All right. <laughs> Thank you! It's not right that Lucky got blamed for eating the cookie. I have to tell my friends it was me. But they'll be so mad at me. <laughs> Sheldon? Did all these acorns fall out of that little hole? Mm-hmm. And then you... Eat them? Yeah. We have to tell the others. <gasps> no! Please don't tell! Then everyone will know that I've been eating them and they'll be mad at me. <gasps> I know! You and me can patch the hole up and no one will know it was ever here. I don't know if we should. Please? Okay. Something's wrong. The meter is going down. That can't be right. Not with all the acorns we're putting in. I've got to fix this before winter comes, or we won't know if we've collected enough food. Oh, no. Maybe a rock fell out. we better go see. The acorns are all dropping out. We have to tell the others. Can't we just fix it? Pretty please? With acorns on top? <sighs> okay, we'll try to fix it. But if it doesn't work this time, you have to tell the truth. I've checked every dealy bob and gizmo who, and I can't find anything wrong with the meter. I don't know why it's going down, but I'll keep looking. Hey, you fixed it! It can't be. It's impossible. It can't fill itself. We have to keep working. The squirrels think the tree's filling up by itself. You have to tell the truth, Sheldon, or there won't be enough food for the winter. Mm, I know. I should have told the truth in the first place, but... Oh, everyone is going to be so mad at me. I know what you mean. I ate a big cookie. Let our dog Lucky take the blame. I wish I told the truth in the first place, too. Maybe we should both tell the truth now, together. And so I just want to say that I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling the truth, Sheldon. Next time, uh, maybe do it a little sooner. Okay, team, back to work. I'm sorry too, you guys. For what, Kobe? It was me who ate the giant cookie, not Lucky. What? You? Why didn't you tell us? We thought you wouldn't like me anymore. Well, of course we'd still like you. Friends know that friends make mistakes. Sometimes we do things wrong. We don't mean to, but we do. Mistakes are made by everyone. We're learning just like you. Tell the truth, it's good to do. Don't say things that are not true. Don't be 
scared, just take a breath. It's not that hard to do. Just tell the truth. Oh, just tell the truth. Oh, for friends, for you, it's good to do. So tell the truth. the truth it's good to do i won't say things that are not true i won't be scared i'll take a breath it's not that hard to do just tell the truth oh, just tell the truth oh, for friends for you always be true and you'll feel better when you do so tell the truth Good job, everyone! The storage tree is filled to the brim! And just in time for winter! Just in time! Wow! Ooh. That was awesome! Tigga, tigga, do! <laughs> Snack time! A whole new cookie! Yup, and it's big enough for all of us to get a nice big piece! No thanks, Sophie. I've already had more than my share. What do you mean, Kobe? It was me who ate the first cookie, not Lucky. <laughs> I'm really sorry you were blamed for what I did. Do you forgive me, Lucky? <laughs> I'd say that was one big doggy, yes! <laughs> oh, good boy. Thank you! No lucky seashell, but I did find this cool rock. Oh. Well, thanks for looking, Jack. Jack! Ah! Look at your hands! Why are you even digging in all that dirt? Jack and Tessa are helping me look for my lucky seashell. Eddie! I think I found it! This is it! Thanks, Tessa. Back where you belong. Eddie always puts his lucky seashell in that pocket. It brings him good luck. Well, I don't think it really brings him luck. It's just... Yes, it does. And I always keep it in this pocket. If you say so. So now can we go on our beach carnival adventure? The beach? I like the beach. Except for the sand. It gets in your hair and in your food. But maybe we'll find some more cool rocks and seashells and stuff, Emma. And you don't even have to go in the sand. We can stay at the carnival. That sounds like fun. Great, let's go. Woo! Bye, have fun on your adventure. See ya. Step right up for a chance to win the best prizes on land or sea. <laughs> you there, you in the pink shoes. How'd you like the chance to win a big pink whale? Oh, that's am amazing. I have to have it. What do I have to do? You start from way down there and win a small prize. Then trade the small prize for a bigger one. Then trade the bigger prize for the best prize of all. It's probably easy to win the small prizes, but it'd take a lot of luck to win this big one. But you're great at games, Emma. You are. Try it, Emma. OK, I'll try. You get three chances to throw a dart at the beach ball. Get just one dart to stick, and you win! Okay, here I go. Oh, phooey. This is 
smarter than it looks. Keep trying, you'll get it. <sighs> Emma! Huh? There's a cool place to dig for treasure over there. That, that's great, Jack, but did you have to get so dirty? <sighs> uh, uh. <sighs> One more turn, Emma. Oh, right. <gasps> Emma, you won! <laughs> yeah, you won! I won! Wow! I'm gonna go try the next game. Good luck, Emma. Emma doesn't need luck, Jack. She just needed a little practice. Step right up to feed the clams. You get five chances to get three bean bags into the shells. By the way, you've got a little something on your nose there. <gasps> Is it dirt? No, don't! <gasps> you had dirt on your nose when you won the last game. It might be the thing that brought you good luck. I don't really believe in luck. And I really don't like being dirty. But I really, really want to win that pink whale. So maybe you're right. <clears throat> Silly, I knew the dirt wouldn't bring me luck, Eddie. Wait, you might have to put new dirt on your nose every time. More dirt? <sighs> okay, I'll try. Here I go. It worked! Putting new dirt on my nose worked! Thanks, Eddie! Only now, you've got dirt under your eyes, too. What? No! No, 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 don't! Oh. That's part of the luck now, too! You have to put dirt on your nose and under your eyes. <laughs> Why did it have to be dirt? Okay, I'm ready to throw again. Oh. Uh-oh. Good luck. Yes, yes Emma! Emma. Woohoo! I got two bean bags in. Only one more in and I win. Uh, I think you need to put cotton candy in your hair, too. What? Yuck! No. But that's part uh, of the luck now. Gotcha! <gasps> Right. I need to put cotton candy in my hair. Emma, you only missed because Jack sneezed. <laughs> yes! And we have a winner! I did it! I won! Yay! Uh-oh. What is it? <laughs> Step right up to the spinning octopus ring toss. Land one ring on each arm and win the grand prize. I can do this. shell in your pocket? Huh. I guess not. Sometimes I win because I'm a good player, and sometimes I lose because I need more practice. That makes more sense. Practice and believe in you. That is all you have to do. Turn that frown into a grin. You don't need good 
good luck to win. Just keep this trick right up your sleeve. All you need is to believe. It's practice, practice, practice. That is what you need to do. Practice, practice, practice. And remember, we believe in you. When the game is getting hard or you don't draw your lucky card, keep your head up, do your best, and practice will do all the rest. Don't just believe in some small thing. Trust in yourself. that helps you win. It's practice. And you've had lots of practice now. You can't win if you don't try. <sighs> I can do this. <laughs> Yay, Emma! Way to go, young lady! Wait. You mean I got all dirty for no reason at all? Sorry. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I'll be right back. Huh? I'll take my big pink whale now, please. Oh, this is amazing. I won, I won, I won! Yeah! Tessa helped me see that if I try my very best, I'll get better as I go along. And she won the grand prize! Wow, you're so lucky, Emma. She's not lucky, Mia. That's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Eddie. Mia! <laughs> <That was fun. laughs> yeah. uh, that is the smallest apple ever. But it won't come down. I'm tired of waiting. Warmed up. Boing, boing, boing! Gotcha! That's apple picking Tessa style! It's a crab apple. Kind of sour. It looks yummy to me. <laughs> Ew! Not yummy. Now I want a big, juicy apple more than ever. Hmm. Why don't we go where the biggest, most best, most delicious apples grow? Like where? Like a whole island of apples. Big apples. Yeah, Big Apple Island. Great, let's go. All right. Oh, hey, Jack. Where are you guys going? We're going to find the biggest apples ever. Apples? Ew. What? What's wrong with apples? Don't you know about apples? I heard that one time there was this kid who found a worm in an apple. A worm? Ew! Yeah, gross, right? Well, see ya. Come on, Tessa, let's go! Worms, yuck. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. You can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Quiet. And where did all the apple trees go? Looks like some of them were cut down to make this wall. But I wonder why. Look! There's an apple tree! Now those are big apples! 
stop! Don't touch those apples. You don't want to make the angry apple angry. What's the angry apple? Oh, it's the biggest apple you've ever seen. And the other day, we think the angry apple ate our leader, Chief Beaver. <laughs> That's silly. Apples don't eat people or beavers. Well, go ahead and laugh, but he's missing. And that's why we stopped eating apples and built this wall. To keep the angry apple away. I don't know about any angry apples, but I know this one looks delicious. Ooh, it's the angry apple. Scientific fact. There is no such thing as an angry apple. Yeah, apples aren't angry. They're yummy. Except the little sour ones. And the ones with the worms. Yuck. I say we go find out what this angry apple really is. Yeah, let's show these beavers there's nothing to be scared of. Please take us to the angry apple. Yeah, we'll find your leader. I, uh... Okay, but you'll regret it. <gasps> but what if there is an angry apple and there's a giant worm inside making it angry? And if there's one thing worse than an angry apple, it's a giant worm inside an angry apple. Tessa, you sound like these silly beavers. You're just imagining things. <laughs> Oh, really? We'll see. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Cool. Cool. Wow. They sure do look yummy. Yup, they do. <sighs> but do not touch them. huge apple. But it doesn't look very angry to me. Uh, I'll just be over here. What in the name of fidgeting fruit is going on around here? Mm -mm. Tessa, aren't you coming with us? No. I don't like apples anymore. They have worms in them. Yuck! I don't want to find a worm in an apple. I don't even want to see an apple. If there was a worm in the apple, there'd be a hole where the worm crawled in. No holes here. You sure? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> be careful, Sophie. This apple isn't angry or hungry. You've got to see this. Don't worry. No worms. I promise. Thank goodness. I was trying to push this apple home and got my tail stuck under it. Been here for days. You were making all that noise? Yup. Didn't think anyone heard me, though. Now, if you don't mind, please get this apple off my tail. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. Ah! Yeah! I'm free! 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 
you defeated the Angry Apple and saved our beaver chief. Angry Apple? What Angry Apple? We thought it gobbled you up. There was no Angry Apple. Good thing you came along. You weren't scared. Well, I was kind of scared. But my friend showed me it was only my imagination playing tricks on me. To show our thanks, we would like to share our specialty with you. Apple pie! Mmm, so good. Best apple pie ever. See, no angry apple. And no worms. So, I'll have another slice, please. <laughs> and now, another amazing adventure of Super Ready! Whoa! Oh, save me! Save me! What brave person will come to my rescue? Don't worry! Super Ready is Super Ready! Some great big furry creature is trying to gobble me up. Where is this beast? Uh, under my stool. It's just a stuffed bunny rabbit. Nothing to be scared of. Nibbles, I was looking for you. How did you get out of your cage? Were you guys afraid of a cute little hamster? Well, not you really. See, um, time for a run on your hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> your pirate picnic, Emma. Thank you. Did you notice how all the sandwich ships are floating perfectly on Sandwich Sea? I didn't know pirate stuff could be so sparkly and pretty. You made these hats? Of course I did, silly. I made all of this with my own two little hands. I love bedazzling. Do you? I'll show you how. Can we eat first? Like, right now? Uh-uh-uh. Done. Now it's all and amazing and ready to eat. Mmm. Hey, guys. Hey, Jack. Mmm. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> This is delicious. Why do you have to munch like such a messy monkey? He does this all the time at home. Ooh. I can't help it if your sandwiches are so yummy. Mm. Mm. Jack! What? Oh, Fooey! I wanted to share the most special, perfect, and amazing pirate picnic with you all. But now it's all, well, it's all messed up. Sorry. Emma, maybe an adventure would cheer you up. Yeah, like a real pirate adventure. <sighs> pirate adventure, let's go! We can wear our sparkly hats. Definitely. I'm gonna stay and work on some moves for my dance party. Woo! Ooh, can I help? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <clears throat> See you later. Let's cast off, mateys. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song.
Guys, wait up! <gasps> Where do the pirates go? Pirates, ahoy! Yo ho! Hey, pirates! <laughs> Monkey pirates? Looks that way. <laughs> Stop it, monkeys! <laughs> Bad monkeys! <laughs> hey, monkeys! Hey! How would you guys like to have the best, most wonderful, perfect pirate day ever? So, you just go relax while I, Emma, make your day Emma amazing! Hey, it's what I do. Let's get to work. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> there. Uh-uh-uh. Jack, would you be a super-duper helper and call the monkey pirates to the table? You do? Of course. Who doesn't adore sparkly things? And they'll just go bananas for this. Banana burgers! <laughs> hey! Get off the table! Sit down! <laughs> hey! Wait up! Maybe if we sit... <laughs> guys! Guys! <laughs> sit nicely! Please! <laughs> Let me show you the proper way to eat bananas. But they're monkeys! There's a proper way for everything. See? <laughs> Not bad. <gasps> no! Not like that! Not good. Run for your life! But my perfect pirate ship party! Mm -hmm. Hey, Emma, I just wanted to make the best, most amazing, wonderful pirate day. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Delicious. <gasps> Sophie, look. The pirate monkeys are doing everything Jack's doing. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. I can't believe it. They're all imitating Jack. That'll happen with monkeys. Jack, this is amazing. You saved the day perfectly. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you, Ella. Maybe being a monkey mouth isn't always such a bad thing. Mm -hmm. ah. <sighs> oh, 
I guess sometimes you've just got to let people be who they are. And let monkeys be monkeys. And now it's time for Tessa's Dance Party! Okay, remember, just like we practiced. Hit it, Ziggy! Party, and you're supposed to dance Tessa style. Oh, rats. Guess I got carried away. I kind of like Mia's dancing. Me too, especially that part when you. Oh, yeah, dance party. Oh, yeah. That was really so cute. Tessa style is great, but so is Mia's style. Bunny, Teddy, and Zebra liked it too. Tessa, sometimes it's fun to try different styles, too. Yeah, and Mia does have some interesting moves. Mia, could you show me what you were doing with the, uh... Definitely. 